Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find the reference angle of theta equals negative 10 pi divided by 3. And one thing we noticed is I kind of gave you a little bit of a kind of cheat sheet up here on what are the formulas for using uh, coterminal angles when you find which quadrant the terminal angle lands in. And this works for angles in degrees or in radians. But so to figure out theta equals negative 10 pi over 3, we need to determine where does that angle lie, right? So we could always look into graphing it um, on our standard form, where we're going to have our initial side. And then we're going to follow negative 10 pi over 3 to find the terminal side. Now, what we'll notice is, you know, I'll kind of do this the long term. I'll do this the long way, and I'll kind of do it the short way. We notice the negative, that it's going to go in the negative direction. And hopefully you remember, when finding reference angles, we cannot use these formulas for negative reference angles. Nor can we use these um, angles for reference angles that are larger than 360 degrees, or 2 pi. And I already noticed that this angle is going to be a couple revolutions, or it's at least going to be over one revolution of the unit circle. The reason why I know that is because if I was going to go all the way around the circle, I would go around, remember, 2 pi. Well, in a denominator of 3, that's equivalent to 6 pi over 3. So if I was going to go around again, that would only take me to 12 pi over 3 in the negative direction. So therefore, my angle is going to fall somewhere in this um, for first or second quadrant. But I really want to be exact, and I don't really want to go through cutting it into thirds, which you could, and then just keep on adding it around. So one really easy step to do this is add coterminal angles, or find the coterminal angles of negative pi over 6. You know what? Let's go and map it out first of all. So remember, if here's pi, that's really 3 pi over 3. So I could have here would be pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. 6 pi over 3, so I'm at 6 pi over 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's where the angle negative 10 pi over 3, with my initial side here going all the way around to my terminal side here. Now, again, I cannot use this angle for my formulas. I need to find the coterminal angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on adding coterminal angles until I have a positive angle that's less than 360 or 2 pi. So to do that, remember I can add multiples of 2 pi. Now, by adding negative 10 pi over 3 plus 2 pi, I got to get the same denominator of 3, right? So I'm going to rewrite 2 pi as 6 pi over 3. When doing that, I end up with a negative 4 pi over 3. And if you notice, negative 4 pi over 3 is 1, 2, I'm sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the same angle, but again, it's still negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another revolution that's going to provide me now with 2 pi over 3. And when graphing 2 pi over 3, what I notice is 1 pi, 2 pi over 3 is still going to give me the exact same terminal side. However, it's now a side that's positive, um, that's positive and less than 2 pi. So now I notice that my terminal side is in the second quadrant. The reference angle, remember, is the acute angle from my terminal side to my horizontal axis. So to find the terminal side of the second quadrant, I'm going to take theta prime equals theta, or I'm sorry, equals uh, theta prime equals pi minus theta. And what you'll notice, if you're going to use negative 10 pi over 3 minus pi, you're not going to get an acute angle. If you use negative 4 pi over 3 minus pi, you're not, or pi minus 4 pi over 3, you're not going to get an acute angle. However, if we go ahead and use pi minus 2 pi over 3, we need to now rewrite this as with a denominator of 3. So I have 3 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3. And I finalize, get my answer, theta prime equals pi over 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find the reference angle of a negative angle using coterminal angles. Thanks.